In today's video, we're gonna show you how to design your very own solid rocket engine. Right here in the DC cell, that's gonna be the inside diameter of our chamber as denoted right here. This design spreadsheet will be located in the description below. It is free to download from Richard Naka's website. Our diameter, inside diameter of our chamber is going to be 19.05 millimeters or three quarters of an inch. The length of our chamber, denoted by LC, is going to be 152.4 millimeters, which is six inches. Our propellant type is going to be KNSU or potassium nitrate sucrose. The initial outer diameter of our grain, our propellant grain, is going to be 19 millimeters. The initial core diameter is going to be 9.525 millimeters or 3 eighths of an inch. This, our segment length is going to be 152 millimeters and we're going to use one segment. All three of these are going to be exposed. You can ignore those two things. Our target MEOP is our maximum target pressure, which is going to be 550 PSI in our case, because the maximum the maximum working pressure of our steel threaded pipe from Home Depot is 700 PSI, so we're going to stay well below that. And you can ignore this right here, because if we're using a steel nozzle, then we will have little to no throat erosion. Now we're going to click click to solve. We're going to go down here to pressure. And our combustion efficiency, I'm setting at 0.9. Uh, if you really fine mill your propellants, you can get about 0.95. If they're coarse, about 0.93. But to allow for any variability or moisture, I'm going to set ours to 0.9. Our ambient pressure is going to be set to 0.101. And those two are going to stay the same. Click this one. And then in case there's any problems, always click this one. Also, that puts our maximum pressure at 518 PSI, well below the maximum working pressure. Now we're going to go to performance, and right here we're going to uh, put in our nozzle efficiency. For our nozzle, it's going to be about 0.6. For a smooth, well-contoured, well-built nozzle, it's going to be anywhere from 0 0.75 to 0.85. But ours is not smooth and well-contoured, so it's going to be 0.6. The AE over AT here is going to be set just at 8. Just leave it there. It should be there by default. And we're going to click Solve 4. And that will give us this data and this data, which was this, our maximum thrust at about 60 pounds of force. And our average about 50, 56 pounds. It also puts our engine in, in the F class. And we're going to go over here to Nozzle Design. And right and then these values here are going to be the values you we're going to use to build our nozzle. It's got chamber diameter, uh, throat diameter, it's got the exit diameter, the optimum exit diameter, got the length of the convergent, length of the divergent, and the overall length of the nozzle. And down here it has your notations and your, basically your legend. If you go to output you can see uh, thrust over time curves and graphs and a data sheet right here with all your thrust in both pounds and newtons uh, versus time. Here you also have repellent data, you got burn rate, and your class classification table. Right here is about as far as we need to go. We're over here in Fusion 360 now. We're gonna, going to design our nozzle that we just got the numbers for in Excel. First we're going to take for our divergence length, which was, that was 42.36 millimeters. And our convergence length was 6.57 millimeters. And our throat diameter, or what we're actually going to type in our throat radius, is 4.9 millimeters. Radius of our chamber was 13. Oops, sorry. That was 9.5 millimeters. Radius of our exit 
That's 13.755 millimeters. Now we're gonna draw, draw our angles. Just simply connect these. And then we're gonna go right here. Bring that down about there. And then, for example, we're going to use a ring of 332nd inch or something. 4.6875 inches. Make sure you type in inches. Right here, we're going to, it's going to actually be 332nd of an inch. So, 0 0.09375 inches. And then, draw this one over here. And then, since we're going to be printing this one, on the 3D printer, we're going to just make that easier to print by doing that. And we're going to come down here, make this 2 millimeters, and then bring that all the way up here. Also make it easier to print down here by zooming in. Right there and connecting. Bring that one, bring that and redrawing it. Make it a little more efficient. And now we're gonna select this face, go to create, revolve. Now for profile selected, we're gonna select our axis and then enter. And we have most of our nozzle, now we still need the screw attachment points. We're going to be using some 3mm screws. So we're just going to draw a circle. 3mm. Three, three and we're just going to make, extrude this maybe about 4mm long. I'll make sure he sticks out just a little bit. Then we're going to select a screw. We're going to go to create pattern, Cir circular pattern. And our axis is going to be that right there. And then the quantity is going to be four. Use four screws. Enter. Now we select all that. Go to modify. Combine, and then have our, select our target body, and now we do that. Select our target body, and then tool bodies. Make sure right here the operation is set to cut. Click OK, and then our screw holes are cut. And that's really about it. Then we go to make.